Hello, lovely students. This is Mr. Holloman, your English language arts teacher. I wanted to explain to you what a magic square is. So when you make a copy of the magic square assignment, you're not going to see anything that looks like a square. You're going to see a basic matching exercise. So when you get closer here, you'll see that A is deform. So you need to figure out which one of the definitions is deform. Now, if you know that deform means uh, to make opposite, to take away or uh, down, then you're going to be looking for those words in the answer choices. And ah, look, number seven says to take away the nature or shape of, to ruin or contort. And so we know that DE means take away and form means shape. So A must mean seven. Okay, so you're going to put seven in the block here. You're just going to type that in and there you go. But wait a second, what part of this is magic? Where's the magic square? Well, for that, you're going to have to come over here and you're going to have to draw a magic square, or in this case, it's probably going to be more like a magic rectangle because of my drawing abilities. And so I'm going to draw basically a tic-tac-toe board. And then I'm going to put A in the upper left-hand column, B in the middle column, C, and then on the second row, D, E in the middle, F, G, H, and I. Now, I'm going to put my seven here. Now, you're not going to, um, you're not going to send this to me. The only thing that you're going to send to, send to me is a copy of this. You're going to share this with me. Hit share, and then put in my name. You're going to share that with me, and then you're going to submit that through Canvas. This part, though, this part I want you to do and put it in your notebook on your own. See, the fun thing about Magic Square, for those of you who don't know, is when you take A, and then you take the number that's in B, and then the number that's in C, if you add all three of those together, you're going to come up with a certain number. So, 7 plus blank plus blank equals whatever number this is. Now, when you take the numbers in D, E, and F, you're also going to come up with a certain number. So D plus E plus F is going to equal the same number. And then if you add G plus H plus I, you're going to come up with the same number again. So all of these numbers, whether you're adding A and B and C, or D and E and F, or G and H and I, they're all going to add up to the same number. This is why it's called a magic square. If you've done it correctly, all of these add to the same number. If you have done it incorrectly, one of these numbers will be off. That way, you'll be able to tell where you went wrong. So it's like a, it's like a backup. Now, not only will these numbers be the same, but A plus D plus G, if you add these three numbers together, they also will equal the same number. B plus E plus H, same number. And C, F, and I, guess what? If you add them together, they're going to be the same number. So these three will be the same, these three same, these three same. But then this will also be A, D, and G will also be the same number as A plus B plus C. B, E, H will also be G, H, I. So if you go across or down, you're going to have the same number. It doesn't work diagonally, but it does work horizontally and vertically for each row. All right, remember, you will not turn this into me. This is just to make sure that you understand uh, how to do it and that you've done it correctly. Do not sit there and play with a bunch of numbers until you come up with the right number. You need to make sure, most important thing of all, is that you understand that DE means to take away. Form means shape, appearance, or arrangement. Con means together or with. You are using these again so that you'll remember these later. That's the most important thing, not just a bunch of numbers. This is just to make sure that you understand and that you can figure out a way to correct yourself if you need to. All right, thanks guys. Have a good one.